Welcome to How Much is a Trillion? My name is Rodney Constable. I'm the president and founder of Simple Market Signals at SimpleMarketSignals.com. I'm a former financial advisor and a former vice president and regional sales manager for Oppenheimer Funds, the mutual fund company. To see just how massive a trillion is, let's see how many years are in a trillion seconds. What do you think? How many years? Any guesses? First, let's review. One billion is 1,000 million. Again, one billion is a thousand million. So a trillion is 1,000 billion. Okay, again, a trillion is a thousand billion. Now stay with me here, it's gonna get fun. To consume a billion seconds takes 31.7097 years. Again, a billion seconds is just shy of 32 years. Therefore, a trillion seconds is 31,709.79 years. Look at that, guys. This is a staggering amount of time. 31,709.79 years. Okay? Staggering amount of time. So the next time you hear somebody talking about a trillion dollars of something, right, you're going to understand just how big that number actually is. Let me give you a couple of real-life examples and financial examples so you really understand how important this knowledge is that you now have. First off, we're going to be taking a look at the St. Louis Fed balance sheet, and this chart starts December 18th, 2002, and runs through November 6th of 2019. Okay, so this is the balance of the assets on the Federal Reserve balance sheet. Okay, this is the assets on the Fed balance sheet. And what we can see here in the gray area, the, the, the vertical bar, by the way, that's the recession. Okay, so going into 2008, uh, we, uh, at tail end of 07, we started that recession. And you can see here that the Fed balance sheet was less than, and it was still a lot of money, but it was less than $900 billion. And with quantitative easing and the expansion of the money supply, you can see here that the Fed balance sheet exploded there's no other way to say it from less than 900 billion dollars to over four and a half trillion dollars over the next few years okay and so we got up uh, as you see here around 2014 2015 around four and a half trillion dollars and then the fed let some of that uh, money roll off right it's debt instruments mostly treasuries and mortgage-backed securities are what the fed owns you can go out and google that and find out more information on that but uh you know they bled off some of those assets and now we're right back up here and if you look in the right hand side of the chart we're back up to about four trillion dollars on the Fed balance sheet. But now you understand just how big this number is. Let's take another look. Let's take a look at another example and something that uh, is absolutely staggering. So next we're going to go out to a website that I think you're really going to enjoy. And another reason why it's so important to understand how large a trillion is, is when it comes to our national debt. Now what we're looking at is a site called usdebtclock.org dot org so again that's us debt clock dot org kind of hard to say and i would highly encourage you to go out here uh you know every few weeks or every few months and check this out because you're going to see over a period of time just how quickly the u.s debt is racking up and by the way this is our funded liabilities this does not include unfunded liabilities which some experts claim are north of 200 trillion dollars guys 200 trillion on top of what you're seeing here in the upper left hand corner of this screen so the u.s national debt that little uh, running clock there that you see that's 23 trillion dollars plus uh, that is just ratcheting up like crazy that is the funded liabilities that's the money that you and i owe right thanks to the u.s government you can hear you can see here that the debt per citizen it is uh, over 69000 almost $70,000, and the debt per taxpayer, because keep in mind, and there's a lot of people that are either too young to work or uh, have retired, so uh, less than half of the U.S. population right now actually works. But you can see here that the debt per taxpayer, again, I'm in the upper left-hand corner of this screen, 
right now, that number is $186,579. So when people talk about a trillion, just understand it is a massive, massive number. And I hope you've learned a few things here on this presentation. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a staggering number. There's not much you and I can do about it at this point other than just be aware that this is potentially a massive problem at some point in the future. Okay, so we'll click back out of this screen. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation on how big a trillion really is, and I've given you a couple of practical financial examples of why it's so important to understand when people are talking about a trillion. When you, when you hear on CNBC or whatever, um, Bloomberg, Fox, whatever it is, when you hear people talking about a trillion of this, a trillion of that, a trillion dollars, a trillion dollar deficit, whatever it is, I hope now you understand just how massive that number really is. If you would like to learn more about becoming a successful investor and learn what you can do to protect yourself when the stock market goes down, I would highly encourage you to watch my Successful Investor webinar, which is out on my YouTube channel. I will also leave a link to that video in the description box below this video. So what are the next steps? Watch my Successful Investor webinar, watch my other YouTube videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel for ongoing finance and success education. Give me a thumbs up on this and other videos that you like. Leave a comment on my videos and share my videos and my YouTube channel with your friends, family, and colleagues. Also, please feel free to connect with me on social media. And thank you so much for being on this video. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.